Hi guys, welcome back to Junris Vlog that reacts for this video reaction. The title of this video that we need to do some reaction for today, guys. I know that this is so very interesting from the title itself that you can see at the thumbnails and uh, 10 countries that are impossible to invade and read it from the title itself. It's so exciting and so interesting also to know with this one. And credit to the owner also with the video all time fans. I'll put in the description box below so they can connect also with the owner of the video all time fans and allow me to read some information with this video when it comes to defense some countries are just safer than the others from nations with massive milit uh, militaries to states with an available terrain we're counting down the 10 countries that would be impossible to invade and there are reasons also guys that countries are very impossible to invade like of course their military capability because they have a strong military capability and also if they had this enough like uh, military weaponry and also their uh, artillery and also enough guard to their boundaries of their place and the difficulties of the countries that for you to reach like might be is like the rain or there are difficulties for the country that would be like to be invaded or to reach so let's get to know guys what are those countries that are difficult and very impossible also to invade if you're new to my channel just click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell so that you'll be updated on our future uploads and if you have some comments suggestion related to this video or interesting videos for me to react, just drop it in the comment section. I would love to read and respond to you all and make your video request. Also, guys, and I hope you will be having fun and enjoy with this interesting video. ...that are impossible so to excited. invade. Number 10, Iran. Oh. You know you're a tough country when your nickname is Fortress Iran. Despite amassing powerful enemies like the US, Turkey, and Anyways, Saudi Arabia, guys, Iran hasn't been invaded. Just turn on the subtitles. The mad power of over half just a million the soldiers, subtitles. as well as 1,658 tanks and 137 aircraft, make Iran hard enough to beat in a pitched battle. But what mm. makes a potential conquest even more difficult is the nation's mountainous terrain. The topography in of Iran is similar to that of Afghanistan, and that country is still full of small pockets of terrorist fighters years after the NATO invasion. Iran's oh. government already has a network of underground missile bases and claims that they exist 500 meters under every city and province in the country. An invading force would have to take out each secluded base one by one, a bloody and endless process. Many also wow. suspect that the Iranian nuclear program is being used to create nuclear weapons. Although the Iran nuclear deal may make some progress in limiting the country's nuclear ambitions, Iran has recently started testing missiles capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. A nuclear defense would make an invasion even less fun for anyone who doesn't like giant doses of radiation poisoning. Seriously. Nine, Australia. Fun fact, Australia's army once lost a war against emus. So invading them ought to be as simple as marching in, putting your feet up, and ordering a Foster's, right? Well, <laughs> there's two things you're forgetting. Yeah. One, Foster's is Famous terrible. Famous beer is Foster's. And two, yeah. Australia is a floating desert in the middle of nowhere. The country oh. is nearly 11,000 kilometers from the nearest military that could take them on. And no, it's not that military powerhouse Vanuatu. Japan is the only country near enough and powerful enough to consider an invasion. And they've been right. an ally of the land down under for decades. Even if you reach Australia, your problems are only just beginning. 98% of the Aussie population may live around the coasts, but you'd still have to conquer the outback, Correct. which makes up 70% of the nation's landmass. That this leaves the like desert thousands of kilometers wide wow. for the Australian army to hide in and conduct guerrilla raids from. During World War II, Japan did actually plan an invasion of Australia, but okay. they abandoned it for pretty much all the above reasons. Number eight, <laughs> Russia. If you want to know how an invasion of Russia typically works out, just ask Napoleon or Hitler. Uh. Two of history's <laughs> most powerful armies rolled into Russia and within a few years, they were rolled right back out again. I believe The key so. to Russia's safety is its geography. It's the largest country in the world, and much of that land is either surrounded by mountains or covered in more snow than a polar bear's wet dream. During World right. War II, the Russian army spent months retreating, willingly giving up land because they knew it would leave the Nazis stranded and freezing to death. It worked, and the botched invasion became a key factor in Hitler's downfall. Modern-day Russia also has a formidable army at its disposal, with 845,000 active military personnel, the fifth largest in the world. Yeah. On top of this, Russia could call upon its 3,500 military aircraft and its fleet of 350 warships. This is what oh, I'm saying. And they have 7,000 nuclear missiles. This is what I'm talking. US. So even if you survive Russia, a regular winter, for you, you it's still very have difficult nuclear winter to deal with. Number seven, North, North Korea. Korea. Oh there aren't God. many things that Kim Jong-un has that would be considered one of the best in the world. The most but one thing he can boast about is like his substantial famous army. North Korea has over a million active soldiers, 
4,200 tanks and 222 attack helicopters. President that gives Prime a larger Minister. military than every NATO member except Prime Uncle Sam. More importantly, they're also believed to have nuclear weapons capable of reaching South Korea, Japan, and possibly the west coast of the US. Recently, tensions have been high in the wow. region as North That's Korea pushes ahead. How very like tests. advanced Troop North movements Korea. by America, China, and Russia indicate that an invasion could occur in the near future. If a war does happen, it would take the combined forces of America, South Korea, and Japan to make an effective invasion remotely feasible. Even then, a minimum of hundreds of thousands of people would die, a toll too high for most countries to stomach. So Kim Jong Un can kick back with a few bottles of wine. In the short term, he at least, is such he's a powerful safe like, invasion. Prime Minister. Number six. Bhutan. If you've never heard of this country, we don't blame you. Bhutan is one of the most secluded <laughs> nations on earth. Tucked I know, away in the Himalayas, I it has an army of only 6,000 men with no artillery and no air force. Yet Seriously? Bhutan belongs to a very short list of nations that have never been invaded. Right. In the 1700s, because they were attacked by the British Empire. Because honestly, who hasn't been attacked by the British Empire? And they lost. But this defeat merely forced an allegiance with Britain, not a full annexation. Nowadays, an invasion would be impossible for two main reasons. The first is the terrain. Hiking your way 3,000 meters above sea level to Bhutan can cause altitude sickness, and tanks would have no chance of making the trip. Agreed. And the second is that India has decided to take the small state under its protection. India supplies weapons, money, and training to Bhutan's minor army. It has also promised to use its slightly larger army of 1,200,000 soldiers to protect the nation. These wow. factors, along with a complete lack of incentive for anyone to invade, give Bhutan pretty substantial protection. Number five, Israel. When you're a small country surrounded by people who don't want you to exist, you don't really have any choice but to become tough as shit. Israel has been in eight wars in its short 69 year history, and it has never lost one. Though wow. it only has an army of 176,000 troops, the country really? introduced mandatory military service in 1949. Women have to serve in the military for a minimum of 24 months, and men have to spend 36 months there. This means that a significant wow. proportion of Israel's population is trained for warfare, and the state could call on another one and a half million soldiers if it needed to. It Israel has like also developed that, the best right? missile defense system in the world, the Iron Dome. And no, there's not an actual wow. giant dome covering Israel like in the Simpsons movie. The Israeli Defense Force uses the craziest means of defense possible, shooting enemy missiles out of the sky with their own missiles. Uh, this insanely yeah. badass defense has successfully detect, shot down 90% yeah. of enemy missiles before they reach Bravo. their target. Yeah, yeah. Number four, Canada. Canada. The Canadians may act all nice and polite, but anyone who's seen an ice hockey match knows that they can play rough when they want to. And with a highly trained and professional army of 95,000 soldiers, taking on Canada's army would be a substantial feat in its own right. Uh -huh. But Canada doesn't even need to fall back on its own military. Like Russia, its size and icy climate make launching a sizable force difficult. against the nation extremely yeah. difficult. Right. On top of this, most of the population of Canada lives near its only land border, which happens to be shared with the world's most powerful military and Canada's yeah, ally. So unless you want to fight your way through America to get there, the only way into Canada is by sailing through half-frozen waters, landing in the most remote parts of the country. <laughs> then you have to trudge south through 6 meters of snow and minus 50 degrees Celsius temperatures That's to get to the difficult. cities. And then, after all that, America will probably just attack you anyway. Number yeah. 3. Switzerland It's easy to forget that Switzerland even has an army. After all, it doesn't get a lot of action. The country has been reliably neutral since 1815, and mm -hmm. if you can turn a blind eye to the whole World War II thing, it's unlikely you're going to be dragged into any war soon. Still, if an invasion ever does rudely disturb them from their busy lives of clockmaking, the Swiss Army could put up a pretty good fight. The Swiss Armed Forces has 150,000 personnel and 156 aircraft. Uh, this country that army is one of the richest small, but it's country. also used to fighting in the Alps. Unless you happen to wow. have a biathlon champion in your army, the Swiss are going to be able to outmaneuver you up the mountains and down the slopes. You wouldn't be able to catch them off guard either. Swiss soldiers are legally required to keep their weapons with them at home. More important than their army is the fact that they never use it. Switzerland's famous neutrality means that all the powerful nations surrounding it are allies. An invading oh. force would have to contend with France, Germany, and scariest of all, Liechtenstein. <laughs> Number two, Japan. A country has to be this pretty hardcore difficult. to be one of the oldest civilizations on Earth and one that still has never been invaded. Despite a long history of people trying, Japan has never been overrun. Even the Mongols couldn't conquer the Japanese, right. and the Mongols basically did nothing but conquer people. Of course, Japan has been defeated, but it took America dropping a couple of nukes on them to do it. And even then, Japan was never fully invaded. Nowadays, an invasion would be even harder. Since 2016, Japan has ramped up its military spending to $40 billion. They have a quarter of a million soldiers at their disposal and over 600 tanks. 
Japan's Air Force of 1,590 aircraft is the fifth largest and the most technologically advanced in the world. This is Plus, insanely good The only weak links in Japan's defense are its aging population and surprisingly weak cyber defense, which, according to experts, is nine times more vulnerable than other countries in Asia. Still, an invasion of Japan would require a military beyond the limits of anyone except America. Speaking of whom, number one, the oh, USA. USA. We all knew America had to be on this list somewhere. The U.S. pumps $596 billion into its military every year, more than the next seven highest spending nations combined. Yeah. On its own, spend $54 much more billion of their, increase like, in military defense expenditure proposed by President Trump trainings. is equivalent to 80% of Russia's entire military budget, yeah. on top of which the U.S. has enough nukes to kill everyone on Earth several times over. So, yeah, no doubt they're about safe. It. No doubt Even about without it. this it's, ridiculous military very dominance, the U.S. would be basically impossible to invade. The mere scale of the U.S., nearly 10 million square kilometers, would make a complete conquest a multi-year endurance test, especially when you'd need a military capable of fighting effectively in the deserts of Utah, the beaches of Hawaii, and the icy hellscape of Alaska. Actually, on second thoughts, they can have Alaska. Add that to a highly armed population that's been dreaming of this exact scenario since Red Dawn, and an invasion looks more and more far-fetched by the second. Sorry, Vlad, but it just isn't happening. So that was 10 countries that are impossible to invade. Which country wow. do you think would be the toughest to take over? Did we leave any nations off the list? Let us know in the comments below. And For if you me. want more creative country content, be sure to check out 10 new countries that could exist in 10 years. Oh. Playing now. <laughs> For me, like it's uh, the most difficult one is Russia and uh, North Korea. Of course, USA and Japan, these are the country that toughest country that uh, for me I believe that it's too difficult because the way how their weaponry they just spending in terms of their like uh, the money that they have to spend on their weaponry and then the military training that they have and I believe they really difficult for, to be invaded and this is such a wonderful and very interesting video to know I was so amazed and I was so also knowing with these countries such an amazing video i enjoyed it a lot i hope guys also what are your countries that are very difficult to invade drop it on the comment section if you want to see the full video it's in the description box below and if you like this video guys same as i did just give a massive thumbs up like and just subscribe also with my channel this is junior's blog that react saying stay humble stay positive guys and if you have some comments suggestion related to this video or any video that you can suggest drop it in the comment section i'd love to read and respond you all and make your video request also and if you have if you want to connect my second channel it's in the description box below and also if you want to see and connect also with my social media account is in here guys just connect with me also and thank you so much and see you in the next video reaction have a good day everyone bye bye guys